What's up everybody Nice Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video with single spotlight. Today we're talking about our last starter, our last Cantonian starter, Blastoise. This Pokemon is really interesting in this gen. They gave it Shell Smash so we're going to be able to follow me and Shell Smash and then attack with really really powerful moves and that's going to be the name of the game today. So. We're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So, mono water type Pokemon. So we have resistances to fire, water, ice, steel, really good, and then weaknesses to electric and, and grass, which is solid. Both can be patched up. Things like uh, the Raichu with electric or with lightning rod, and then things like the Sap Sipper Gudra, you can switch in if your Blastoise is threatened for death, and you just switch in and then get a strong power whip out of it. And that's pretty cool. So that's the name of the game is Blastoise Blastoise baby so this Pokemon its stats are really good across the board as well and we'll go ahead and talk about that now so HP 79 is really solid defense 100 and special defense 105 super bulky boy you can play this Pokemon really aggressive which is how I have the build today or you can play it kind of slow play rain dish just heal and uh, and just chill with leftovers or something and you can heal up a lot, just not take much damage, build it really bulky. Only a couple weaknesses that you can patch up, like I was saying. Making this Pokemon a pretty uh, annoying Pokemon to deal with as well. So it really depends which way you want to build it. I'm talking about Shell Smash Destroy Everything today. But uh, maybe in the future I'll do another one if a, of the Bulky Boy Blastoise. <clears throat> or you may just see that in a uh, tournament and um, let's see how that goes. So... As far as our offensive, we have 83 into attack and 85 into special attack. We're going with special attack just because I like its move pool for special attack more. However, it does have a solid move pool for attack and it's only two off, so you can go either way. Um, and Shell Smash gives you attack, uh, physical, and special attack. So, you know, you can go either way with the Pokemon. And then we also have 78 speed, which is pretty solid. It's a decent mid speed tier, but with Shell Smash, it doubles. So we're, we're real fast after that. We're like Sonic, boy, we fast, boy. Um, but yeah, Blastoise gets really, really powerful with Shell Smash. So we're playing, like, just follow me and then Shell Smash. And that's kind of just the name of the game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and jump into the build, the actual build here. So Life Orb is our item of choice. We want to do the most damage. We can Dynamax with this Pokemon, although we're probably not going to, but you definitely can. And, uh, and then you can just life orb do a lot of damage the reason I say we're not gonna Dynamax is because with each shell smash you lose points in your special attack or in your special defense and regular defense so we're we become like pretty frail and I don't really want you to like Dynamax and then die instantly you know Dynamax like it would kind of suck but you can still do it and it's, it's still gonna be gonna be powerful because you get really really buff you you do a lot of damage so <clears throat> You could just do a lot of damage for days. But Life Orb gives us that 1.3 times, and it's really, really helpful for a lot of our calcs. They get us to 100% uh, killing a bunch of things. We have damage calcs, obviously, in a little bit that you'll be able to you'll be able to see that. Um, our, our ability, we went with Rain Dish here. So I think that Torrent could also be used on here. So Rain Dish, if uh, heavy re rain is in effect then you gain a, a 1 16th of your max hit points at the end of every turn That's the same as life leftovers damage or leftovers heal and uh, You can play you can play rain dish. I'm playing rain dish just because I feel like uh, you know you might max this Pokemon and max um, geyser or you could just play Pelipper on your team and uh yeah, I mean, I think that's good. Being able to heal up a little bit is pretty useful, especially since we're pretty frail. We it can make a it can help us live like a couple of turns extra. I think it's is good. But torrent, if you are at one third or less of your max HP, then you get a 0.5 multiple or a 1.5 times multiplier on your water type attack. So the scald would get a buff. So you can really go either way. Um, I'm just going with rain dish. I could definitely see torrent on this build though um, And if you're playing bulky boy, I, I think there's prob it's probably only rain dish, but you could play either on this build I definitely think um, into our moves. So shell smash is the, the of course move like it's ob obviously there It's very very powerful. It gives you one stage less of defense and special defense and then gives you um, one and then raises one one tier and then raises your oh no it raises your attack special attack and defense by two which is huge this is like absurd actually shell smash is an absurd move 
And when you partner with uh, things like the Togekiss for like the follow me, it's crazy powerful. The only things that really like threaten you is like Duraludon because it has Stalwart and it gets through that follow me. But we have damage calcs and I'll explain that matchup in, in a few minutes. Like whenever we get to damage calcs, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so, so Shell Smash is really, really, really powerful. And then to match with that, we have Scald, Ice Beam, Aura Sphere. Scald is just uh, our best physical or our best special attack stab move in my opinion you can use surf but then you hit your partner pokemon maybe you want to try like gastron on the team too and then use surf as your move so that you can get the storm drain buff too that's a pretty cool synergy that you can use and then we also have ice beam um and aura sphere just for good spread I, I think those are really solid ice beam hits that thing uh things like the togekiss it hits uh mudsdale really hard a lot of there's a lot of really good targets for ice beam so i think that's really good and then we also have aura sphere um this is mostly for the duraludon we it also hits like a bunch of other things really hard like you know steel and and uh rock mo uh pokemon it hits a lot of things pretty hard um it just kills tyranitar <laughs> like get out of here tyranitar what are you doing um so yeah, that's really powerful. And to our other moves, so we have a lot of other moves that we could use actually. So Surf, I already touched on that um, being pretty solid instead of Scald. You know, you can use that, but then be careful for your partner Pokemon unless it's Gastron, then it loves it. Icy Wind and, Bla and Blizzard. Um, Icy Wind just lowers the speed of all your opposing Pokemon. We get super fast, so we don't really have to worry about that, but it's still an option and then we also have blizzard if you pair this with something like vanillix you can actually just get 100 accuracy on blizzard and then kill everything so i like blizzard a lot as a good option i think it's good and then we also have fake out which is just it's fake out like this pokemon gets fake out so just you can use fake out <laughs> like it's just an option um and then we also have flash cannon another good spread move um that just gives you good good spread across the board if you want to switch out aura sphere or ice beam for it go go ahead um, and then we have a couple of moves here, Yawn and Haze. These are more so for the other build, the Bulky Boy build. You can Yawn things, you can Haze, um, keep all of the stats low and normal. It's pretty. It's a pretty solid option, I, I like it a lot. And then we also, also have Aqua Jet, um, which is just priority, so it's good. Um, although, like I said, Shell Smash is the name of the game, so we get fast and really strong. And we probably don't need Aqua Jet, but it's an option, which is good. Um, and also another thing to touch on, I just thought about like, what if you use like blunder policy? That's goofy. N don't use blunder policy, but maybe, maybe it's goofy. It's an idea. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, into our stats. So it's, this is a pretty like exactly what you would expect build. So it's 252 into special attack and 252 into speed. Um, basic super basic i know but timid nature to give us plus speed minus attack this just makes us as fast as possible that nature change doesn't really change much until you shell until you shell smash because you're at 143 and without that the nature you're at 130 and there's like nothing really in between that 130 and 143 however when you use shell smash you outspeed all like the a lot of uh certain scarf users you outspeed a lot because like if you think about it the the change from nature is only 13 but when you double your speed it's 26 which could like cover a lot of speed tiers and it co it does cover a lot like a lot of them um i don't i don't really have any to show you because all my speed tiers are based off of like before shell smash and, and getting to shell smash but yeah it's good you have speed a lot of things you have speed all like swift swimmers which is good because you want rain up because you rain dish and then your scald is insane and uh yeah so anyway that that pretty much sums up the build and then we also put the four left over into special defense if you play it bulky you'll probably just max into hp and then maybe into special defense or defense or like whatever um i'm not exactly sure i'm i put all my eggs into the, let's kill him with shell smash today because sm shell smash is the new th smell sash smell sash Shell Smash is the new thing that we get with this Pokemon, and I really want to just take advantage of it. I think it's really powerful. Um, into our synergies, so we have Togekiss for Follow Me, of course. Rotom H, uh, he just covers us really well. You know, it resists electric and grass, so that's really good and uh, really re just helpful on our team. It also just gives another uh, ground immunity, which is good. So we already, like, take neutral damage from Blastoise and then have Togekiss as an immunity and then another immunity in the Rotom H. And like ground immunity, ground's very relevant. So ground immunities are like solid. Um, and then we also have 
options like Grimmsnarl making us just a little bit bulkier with dual screens, I think that's a good option. It also has Fake Out and Thunder Wave to stop things like the Hawlucha and Barrascuta that actually outspeed us. You can just stop those down with uh, Thunder Wave, which is good. Um, I like the the screens though the most. That's the biggest reason. And then we also have Raichu. So Raichu has Lightning Rod ability, which just redirects and then gives you a special attack buff, um, which I like a lot. I think it's good. You know, you see your opponent like using a Rotom out, bringing out a Rotom, not Grass Rotom, um, any of the other Rotoms, and they're like, all right, Thunderbolt your Blastoise. You switch your your partner Pokemon into the Raichu, and then you're like, all right, give me that buff. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's go. You know, so like Raichu just kind of eats that uh, that weakness. And then we also have uh, Gudra Sapsipper as well. I didn't put that down because I didn't have room down there. But that's another notable one you can switch out. It gets rid of your Shell Smash buff. But, you know, if you're going to die and this is your only option, you got to do what you got to do, man. You know, um, fight or flight. You got to flight sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, for things that we kind of are threatened by, um, Rotom H. Not Rotom H. Rotom Mo. Uh, it covers both of our weaknesses, so we can't switch out um, to bring out like the Raichu or the the Gudra. If you have both on your team, you could switch both, <laughs> but that's a little overkill for like one Rotom. Uh, but that is an option, you know. And then we also have Duraludon, which is like the scariest one. It's stalwart, so it gets through us before Shell Smash. However, it's faster than us, than us if it's max speed, even if it's modest nature. It still outspeeds Blastoise, which is really, really powerful because we actually wanted to outspeed us first because when we Shell Smash, it, it, it like guaranteed KOs us, but it only has like, we'll show you in damage calcs, but it has like a lower percent of chance of killing us um, if it's a Salt Vest. If it's Life Orb and Max Speed, then it just like it wins the matchup, like there's nothing we can do, but we'll talk about that more in a, in a little bit. For now, we're going to go ahead and jump into our Speed Tiers. Uh, so, Speed Tiers. Here we are, we're all the way down here at 143. I, I've, whoops, I have Diggersby. This is supposed to be Blastoise. Um, hold on, hold on. There we go. Blastoise, baby. That's Blastoise. And that's what it's supposed to be. I'm a goofball for doing that, but oh well, it's, it's okay. We fix it, we fix it. All right, anyway, Blastoise at max speed, Timid Nature hits 143, which is pretty lame. We, they don't have Blastoise in the in the speed tier system. That's why like I didn't have Blastoise. I had to edit the Blastoise in. Just so you know, if you were like, why Diggersby? Because they're they're on the same speed tier. So yeah, but like Blastoise, um, max speed, positive nature gives us 143. Things we have speed is like Butterfree at 134, and the Pelipper that we either use on our team or not. But Pelipper isn't always positive max speed. Just because 128 is like kind of bad anyway. So like sometimes it just leans into like other stuff. Um, but probably not like probably not it'll probably just be max speed and 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 uh max special attack but it'll probably be modest nature so it'll be down a couple but yeah um we also speed butterfree which is cool you know like butterfree won't just sleep us immediately which is nice um other things that we don't outspeed is vanillix that's kind of annoying although like i said that's a really powerful synergy you can use vanillix and then just double blizzard after shell smash and you're doing like 9 billion damage it's really powerful that's like a really good option um, and then other things is the birds, like, so the Braviary, Chandelure, Togekiss. I said the birds, but to Togekiss isn't really a bird, and Chandelure isn't a bird at all. But Braviary's a bird, so that guy, that bird outspeeds us. Anyway, Braviary outspeeds us at max speed, positive nature at 145, and then same with Chandelure and Togekiss. They're a little bit under us if they're not um, that positive nature. So you're usually going to be outspeeding Togekiss. A lot of Togekiss aren't um, that, like, oppressive max speed um timid nature anymore like a lot of them just aren't if you run into like offensive weakness policy a lot of them will be but that's like getting pushed out everybody's using like defensive uh togekiss now so yeah and then braviary you'll almost always see a jolly like jolly max speed so it'll probably be there 145 and then we have 154 excadrill this is the mold breaker one it's always going to be outspeeding us most likely until we shell smash and then we beat them all 286 blasters you see them up at the top 286 with Shell Smash. We go real fast. And we... Destroy everything. <laughs> I was gonna say something. But, uh... Yeah. We're strong. Shell Smash is big. And that's, like, what we're doing. So, yeah. That's it for Speed Tiers. We're gonna go ahead and jump into our damage calcs. We have a good bit of crazy damage calcs here. So, the first one, the most important damage calc, in my opinion, is the Duraludon. This is max, uh, max attack. This is modest nature. 
max lightning, it has a 75% chance to Oko. But this is without Life Orb. So keep that in mind. So Life Orb would push it over. This is like a Salt Vest max attack, which is usually going to be modest. Or, yeah, it's usually going to be modest. So this is a Salt Vest. It's going to kill us uh, if it's modest if it's timid then it's not gonna kill us but if it's if it's life orb then it is gonna kill us so if you see a duraludon on our team we can't really follow me shell smash like i don't think it's the best option um but if you position it better late game you know bring them the both in the back like togekiss and and uh the blastoise you could definitely run that as a backup plan and then after like after you kill the duraludon because they'll probably lead it thinking you're gonna shell smash and then you're just like haha kill your duraludon with something and then you just kill him with this late game and that could be another option as well um and then for our damage calc into them two plus two uh this is for the plus two on all these calcs is from shell smash and then we also have life orb um or a sphere this is Undynamax. Aura Sphere into a Dynamax Duraludon is a guaranteed kill. 105 to 124%. So that's really, really powerful. And then the Shell Smash Life Orb into a Togekiss. This is the most used spread for Togekiss. Um, most used spread for Togekiss. I can't talk. Sometimes I go crazy. Um, it is 93 to 111% chance to kill. Or 93 to 111% of its HP into a non Dynamax bulky Togekiss. 62.5% chance to Oko. That's a pretty reliable chance to Oko. We're probably going to go for that a lot. Unless you expect them to Dynamax it and you have weakness policy, then don't do that. Just don't do it. Just Scald it or something. I don't know. Um, and then for our next one, I say um a lot still. Uh, um or uh. I say them both a lot still. Anyway, Shell Smash plus two. Life Orb shell, uh, Scald into the Arcanine. It hits 168 to 198%. We're just knocking that boy out. He's dead. And then shell some, like, all the buffs. Ice Beam into the Gastrodon hits 55 to 65%. That's it. So Gastrodon's, like, kind of scary, but Gastrodon doesn't really do much to us. Like, an Earth Power from an unbuffed, like, defense, more more so defensive build is just not going to do that much damage. Even after, like, our Shell Smash debuff, we're still just not going to take too much damage. Um, I still have it up. Uh, Earth Power... It's, just like 30 something percent so it's not like irrelevant but it's there and uh we're not gonna get even two shotted from it if that's all that's attacking us so like we're in a pretty good position we guaranteed to hit ko the them so it's it's fine you know we outspeed them so like we kill them we hit them and then they either recover or attack and then we kill them the, the following turn so that's an option and uh, then we have Blastoise with all the buffs into to Dynamax Rhyperior with its ability Solid Rock and Max HP. It, we still hit 142 to 168 percent of its HP. Like this is the the Dynamax calc, so we guaranteed Oko that, which is really really powerful. Um, on to our last one here. That's all the damage calcs I have. On to our last slide here. We have the Single Spotlight. So Single Spotlight. This Pokemon plays a very very similar role as far as Shell Smash Rain Dish goes. Um, we have the same build, just just like down to a T, actually. Life Orb, Rain Dish, the same build for EVs. But then we have Shell Smash. We're using Water Spout instead, just because like it plays off of your your HP. So if you come in and then hit um like if you bring this guy in when your opponent's doing nothing, then you Shell Smash and your opponent has to reposition. Water Spout is doing insane damage. So I just like Water. I think Water Spout's a really good option for that. And then we also have Surf. Um, as another option, if you don't like, if you've taken a lot of damage and you don't have access to a strong water spot anymore, you just you just use Surf and it's really good. Like 90, I believe 90 base power is really really good. And then we also have Ice Beam as our last move. This is just for a spread. Like this is mostly for like, I don't know. You can change that. You can make it Aura Sphere, uh, Flash Cannon. You know any of those moves. I like Ice Beam. I like Ice Beam. It's a good move. You know, um, anyway, into the rest of our Pokemon, the synergetic Pokemon, we have Pelipper, which is very good. Um, just sets rain for a rain dish, which is good. And then other Pokemon that take advantage of that rain, things like the Ludicolo, things like Barrascuta, Swift Swim Pokemon are pretty much key here. Seismitoad is really big in singles. Any of those Pokemon can become really powerful. Although I, I see like most Seismitoad are like water absorb. So you might want to just use things like the Ludicolo or Barrascuta. And then things that cover you, you know, things like Ferrothorn, when rain is active, 
Um, Ferrothorn doesn't take much damage from fire type moves, which is really good because it's quad. Uh, it's quad effective. It turns into a regular weakness. My voice is weak sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for for Blastoise. Blastoise is really good. I like Blastoise a lot. Shell Smash is insane. That's going to be the name of the game of, of Blastoise now. I think there can still be bulky builds as well. However, I really, really like the, uh, the Shell Smash. It's really good. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you so much. Um, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Giveaway coming soon. That's all I'm going to say for now still. We're, we're getting closer, though, to the, the big announcement, the real announcement. Don't get your hypes too much. Don't get too hyped, though, because I'm, I'm a broke boy, so it's not the craziest. It's not like a real-life Pokemon, you know? <laughs> it's as close as I can get to it, though, with my wallet. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, goodbye.